Welcome to Fallout 4. I don't think this game needs much of an introduction, so... Well, I won't give it one. I'll simply say if you want to play this game for yourself, you'll find some information on how you can do so in the description. I've played for about 20 or 30 minutes so far just to get a little bit familiar with the game, but it's still an almost entirely blind playthrough, and this is an epic RPG, so... You know, there's going to be a lot of things to learn. Might be a bit rough at first, but we'll see how it goes. I also want to say thank you very much for the person who gifted this game to me. Much appreciated. Alright, let's begin. actors change. That's not Ron Perlman. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, It's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. At first I was worried I'd be stuck with yet another white male protagonist. But nope. Hey, my turn, big guy. Alright, so let me tweak her to be the character I want her to be and I'll be right back. There we go. Looking good. One of the first things that hit me when I started actually playing, when I first gained control of the character like this, is wow, this looks so much better than Fallout 3, doesn't it? Hun? Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? really pretty. 
I mean, it's not amazing looking compared to, like, other modern AAA games, but just compared to Fallout 3, it's so much better. Oh, look, there's even wet effects. The shower is wet. Imagine that. The shower is wet. We have the technology. And Bethesda has built it using the technology. Good job, Bethesda. Mr. Handy. Another foreign product of General Atomics International. Let Codsworth take care of it. It's actually a nice amount of description for stuff if you go around the house and just examine stuff. Hmm. Someone's been working on the pipes. The Braxo for all your cleaning needs. So let's take a look around. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. <laughs> this is like one of those old images of uh like the ideal future family. Is this set in the future? I'm not actually sure what year it's set in right now. But it's got that kind of, this is what it's going to look like 20 years in the future. Where the cars are more angular and smoothed out. Look kind of slightly space-aged. A white fence. Got a kid. Husband and wife. The perfect American life. Utterly boring. I'm so proud of him. No need to get dressed twice. Sean. You little wrapped sandwich baby. Actually, I take that back. You look more like a burrito. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. It is a beautiful house, though, isn't it? Oh, how'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Blast radius the game. <laughs> uh. He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Hmm. Glove's a little big now, but Sean will grow into it. Ah, good morning, Mom. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thank you, Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, Mum. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> More of the same. Hey, hun. Wow, look at you. How'd a guy like me ever get so lucky, huh? Oh, sound like someone made a stick. I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Oh, looks like he's been doing a lot of baking. Cake pans, a industrial mixer? Does that thing really need to be so big? 
thing's huge. How can someone so small drink so much? Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Uh, Saddle up Salisbury there. steak. Rated A plus. Good morning. Voltec calling. Vault Tech, you're trustworthy people. No, they're not. Vault Tech? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. This guy seems to know that something's about to happen. I mean, I don't mean to spoil the fact that the nuclear apocalypse is about to happen, but... I mean, this is Fallout 4, so you could... You know, you probably expect that to happen. Because <laughs> it is set in an apocalypse. And the world is obviously not apocalyptic yet, so it needs to get uh, apocalypticized. Uh, and it's gonna happen soon, and this guy seems to know it, and that's creepy. How does he know it? Why does he know it? Why does he want me so much? But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Yeah, okay. I don't actually know what happens if you say no. I think you have to say yes. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. This guy's creepy. He knows so much. He's really creepy. Okay, uh, let's very carefully spend our skill points. Let's dump some into that. A uh, bunch into agility. We want to be smart. We want a good amount of charisma. Some endurance is nice, too. A bit of perception. A little bit of strength. We don't need that much. Maybe some more into charisma and endurance. Uh, take one out of endurance, another into agility. Um, yeah, perfect. Call ourselves Nella Vanda. Think that looks pretty good. You can tell by my very carefully constructed stats. I'm very much a statistics kind of person. Read the manual, look at every single stat, and see exactly what it does, and try to think about synergies and stuff like that. No, I don't really care. I don't really care. Um, but just to give you an idea of what sort of character I'm going for, the character I've played in the past, in past Fallouts, is usually somebody who's kind of like a, kind of like a sharpshooter, snipery sort of person who talks their way, tries to talk their way out of stuff, or try to convince people of, of things to, you know, to, to resolve quests, basically. A negotiator. 
So I try to be sort of like a negotiating sniper sharpshooter sort of character. So that's why I'm going with a bit of charisma, which allows me to talk to people. Um, I actually don't need this much intelligence. Let's put more into... Mm, perception. Yeah, that's better. We, we don't need that much intelligence. You would think intelligence would affect how well you can speak. And perhaps it does, but it doesn't actually say that. Whereas charisma does definitely affect how persuasive you are in dialogue. As well as prices when you barter. But yeah, I think perception, charisma, and agility are probably the most important ones for the kind of character I want to build. Because this affects weapon accuracy in VATS, which is very important if you want to be a sharpshooter. Charisma is very important for talking to people, and agility is very important for the number of action points. Which is also important for perception, because this affects your accuracy. And agility gives you more points with which to use your accuracy. And also improves your ability to sneak. Don't know if I'm going to be sneaking that much. But doesn't hurt to have that. Um, luck does improve your recharge rate of critical hits, which I suppose would be a good thing. If I'm shooting people in the head, I'm going to want to get critical hits all the time, I guess. Uh, so I don't know if I want to put more into that. Yeah, I'll throw one more point into that. That's fine. Good enough. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? Wait. We have a dog bowl. Do we actually have a dog? <sighs> Never gonna find that dog. Oh, it went missing. Hmm. <laughs> Little patio. <laughs> a grill. Or barbecue, rather. Such a stereotypical, like, perfect nuclear family. Mom, nuclear family. Handmade. How appropriate. Sure requires your personal attention. A little motherly love to quiet the nerves. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We Wait, seem to what? have lost contact with what our affiliate stations. Oh no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go! The apocalypse is, apocalypse is happening. Time Resident to get to safety. Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Oh, God, close. That's gotta be All registered vault Hold on, little guy. Hold on. Who cares? Just help me pack it up. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't serve! Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this! If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home! We're gonna stay out here! 
We need to get in. They We're on the go. list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Program. Thank you. Yeah, Good luck, you sir. Two, follow me. Oh, Come on. Us. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Go faster. God, I keep running Step into your back. In the center. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Hun? Vault 111. Okay, right? A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we had left a minute later. No, no. We don't. Don't be. get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs okay. and through the door there. For you. All new You're safe now. This totally is not a trick. They're totally not doing experiments on you. Welcome home. This way, please. This one's good. Just this way. Step over to the table. Take a suit. Male and infant. Male. A little high. Welcome. Okay. Pick up a suit right You'll over there. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you <laughs> Everything look. okay? This, this is, is one of our most home. advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, there mind you, you. Head down the hall there. It's gone. Our home. Ma Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think we'll be down here? What if they didn't oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few it's medical awesome. items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you yeah, think? checking the everyone off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. It'll be okay. Mommy's right here. See? Honey, could you help me? Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is. God will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the fall. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. So that was obviously not decontamination. All oh, just a big experiment, and we were the lab rats.
must vacate immediately. Whew. So that's the beginning of the game. Perfect family. Apocalypse happens. Stuffed into a vault. Tricked into a vault. Asleep for who the hell knows how long. Wake up just to watch your husband die and your baby stolen. And then wake up again who the hell the hell knows how much longer. Come on. There has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. I think I just took his wedding ring. I'm not actually sure how to check the inventory, though. I'm not sure if I can yet. And if I can, then I don't know the key. Poor people. Poor Nate. Do all these other people die? As well. Why would Vault Tech do this? Hello? Anyone? Alright, we need to get out of here. And this is about as far as I played before, by the way, so from this point on, it's mostly, uh, really entirely blind. <coughs> Rad roaches. What if they're gonna be my first enemies? Take some random garbage. Why not? Ooh, stim pack. I should probably learn how to, like, use my inventory. That might be wise. I'm hoping the game is just going to introduce that in a tutorial prompt or something like that. Clearance vault tech security. Hmm. Let's go to the security logs. Let's go to the oldest first. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment. For a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Yes, yes, you should have told them something. A couple days later, Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. Are they hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher-ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all-clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir-crazy. Some people are even saying the all-clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months, tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the Overseer's evacuation tunnel. 
how convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Hmm, sounds like they were planning a... a rebellion, a revolt or something like that. Last entry. No all clear from vault is coming. We need to leave. We're all out. Uh, we're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office, along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. I'm just trying to- I'm just thinking, is this at all related to who stole our baby? And killed Nate? Could it have been like the overseer as they were leaving, perhaps, did this? No, I don't think so. I doubt it. I mean, this happened within like a year, right? Within a year of us being put in the vault? Has it only been like a year? I don't know. Could be. Yeah, it might have been the overseer and or the science staff that took Sean. For some reason, I don't know why. Hmm. Operations protocol manual. Resident admittance. So let's see exactly what they were doing. They should have some information on what they were planning and what the experiment was and whatnot. Upon activation notice from vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of vault residents. Hmm, doesn't seem too interesting. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Nothing too interesting. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Dispose? As in kill? Staff duties. Science. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vinyl signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension, and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. Only if 80% of the people... Only if greater than 80% of the people in cryogenic stasis have died. Are they even allowed to do life-saving intervention? Jesus. Duties of the security staff. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel. Yep, standard stuff. Facility services and maintenance. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to overseer discretion. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasions, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Nip, blah blah blah. Most of this is just standard bureaucratic paperwork kind of stuff, but... Yep, they were supposed to receive an all-clear notice, and they never did. And it looks like it's only at the overseer's discretion. So I guess if the overseer didn't want them to evacuate then they wouldn't evacuate. The Overseer is basically like the ruling king of each vault. Like the own... Each vault has its own mini-king, I guess. With seemingly absolute power. 
Mandatory shelter period. Fault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from Vault Deck, the Overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during the shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Deck. Uh, security instructions. Did I look at this? No. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Yeah, so just simply test the long-term effects of suspended animation. So I guess that's why they don't care if... I guess that's why you're not allowed to do life-saving... To render life-saving aid to anybody unless 80% or greater the population has perished. Because the point is, I guess, to see how long they last. To see how long they can take it. It's strange, though, because it's a short-term operation, but they're testing the effects of long-term cryogenic preservation. It's not longer than a year, though. I don't know how long-term that really is. Hey, wait a minute. I think there's something back here. I remember there being something you could pick up here. Oh yeah, adjustable wrench, 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 wrench. I don't know if I can use this as weapons. Ball bean hammer. Malfunction in emergency exit door override. Please contact your vault tech maintenance representative. I wonder what the button for the inventory is. Guess I'll have to find that out pretty soon, probably. It's not I, and it's not Teb. Press mouse 1 to attack. Yep, so tutorial stuff. It's probably going to tell me how to do the inventory. Come on, Rad Roach. <laughs> that was easy. Giant roaches? What the hell? Welcome to the new world, Nelavanda. Just like the old world, but shittier and grayer. Ooh. Those things are... Woo. They're pretty, but they also look like they're going to zap my face off. Let's not go in there yet. You really can pick up any old crap. I don't want more beer bottles. What am I going to do with them? Cleanliness is godliness. Oh, the world's damn dirty. I guess that mean... I guess that means there ain't no god. That was deep. I'm proud of that. Gotta keep moving. I want to make sure I don't miss any weapons that were left behind. It's a recreation terminal, not a security terminal like the last one. Overseer memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Fuck you, Overseer. Asshole. Top 10. Rick Tim. <laughs> Top 10 hotties, I'm guessing. Oh, there's a tape. Red Menace. Wait, can I actually play this? Oh my god, can I actually play this? 
How high can you get? What? Yeah, I can actually play. Let's see how high, high we can get. Do I get a prize if I win? <laughs> oh, I thought I dodged it. Come on, give me another try. Got to figure out the timing on the jumps. Let's just wait for this one to go. Oh, never mind. It just falls down the hole. What? I thought I like bounced on the other one. I tried to do the same on that one and it didn't work. Forget Fallout 4. This is way more fun. Oh, I got points for jumping over it. I thought I, like, bounced on top of it like Mario or something. Meh. Alright, come on. Come on. Let's do this again. I'm gonna win this. I wanna see if you get something. more? Oh, and there's like conveyor belts. Is this thing gonna kill me? Oh no, that turns me into like a super beast thing. Can I attack? I thought maybe I'd, uh, I thought maybe I'd be able to attack or something. If I can, I don't know the key. Looks like it allows you to take one hit though. Yeah, I thought that was like a turret or something. I, I didn't think it was a suit. We can do it. There we go. There's even more. I'm gonna get to the end of this, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, well, I beat the third level. It looks like there's three levels, and it continues, but all it does is just repeat the levels. So, nah, I'm out. Maybe if you keep doing it, you do eventually get something, but nah. And, oh, I just took the tape with me. I can play that anywhere I want. I'm never going to play that again. Okay, what was I doing? Like, escaping a vault, um... Husband died, baby stolen. Oh, right. Important things. Let's not get shocked. Ooh, what's this? If you press F, a weird thing pops up. Good to know. Mouse 2 to block. I don't need to block from a rad roach, but let's test it out. Knew I shouldn't have blocked. Poor skeleton. What happened here? Where is everyone? The skeleton died from life. Left all to power deck. What kind of a control is that? Left alt is your strong attack, really? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll get used to it. I like the water effects, they're actually really impressive. Pretty damn good looking. Ooh, so many stim packs. Stim packs are 30% of your max health. Damage limbs. Yep, I figured so. Same as in the previous Fallout. <gasps> Did 
That looks like a gun. Nice. Coming back later for you. Unlock master. I guess that means I need master level unlocking skills. I need to be the master of unlocking to unlock this gun. If I only had a bobby pin. Oh, a pistol. Good enough, I'll just take any gun. F to view your available favorited items. Zero to four to use a favorited item. Um, I need to learn more about the inventory system. Hold on, one second. Hmm, well I'm guessing favorites are assigned from your inventory and or your Pip-Boy, but unfortunately I actually cannot access either. I guess because they haven't been introduced to me or something? So maybe you just can't change your favorites yet. It's just so weird that by default, even though you only have like two main things right now, by default zero is your stim pack, which is all the way to the right on the keyboard from WASD, and four is your pistol. That's really strange. But, oh well. Is this all that's left? Looks like they were a scientist. Another poor skeleton that just wanted to be dead, but it died from life. It's looking at me. <sighs> oh, this is the overseer's place. Overseer eye only. Eyes only. Is that the Overseer behind me, then? Overseer instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended... Wait, is this the same as before? Oh, wait, this is a bit different. This is pretty much the same, but this is different. Under no circumstances is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination is, or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Oh. Yes, yeah, so the Overseer has almost complete control and a different set of instructions from everyone else. Cryolator. Cryo later, whatever that is. Uh, long dream of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. That's the name of the, the gun, right? So it's like a freezing ray. Operations protocol manual. Mm, see if these are any different from the other people. Uh, no, it looks the same. See, I think that's all the same. Open evacuation tunnel. Oh, that's when they need to exit, because the main door is broken. But let's check out the overseer's logs. Preparation. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled. And several from Concord as well. Vault Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. What, f what future? The world's blown up. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected. But only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Yeah, it's... It's weird, in the preparation. Talks about almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. So did they not realize that it would be a atomic wasteland left behind? I mean, the only way the vaults would get used is if such a thing happened, right? So wouldn't they know the whole damn world would be just ruined? I don't know. 
Systems malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appear to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We are not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Supplies running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all-clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just... And then it just ends? It just ends. Yeah, so I'm guessing the office that was supposed to send them the all-clear signal and manage that stuff was probably blown up. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Let's open the tunnel. Now open, remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing vault, blah blah blah. Did anyone get out? I think it's time to go. Oh, whoa. Oh, the scroll wheel allows you to go into third person. That's cool. Q to target enemies in vats? Alright, let's check out the new vat system, see if it's uh, changed at all from the other fallouts. Also aim down sights. Let's try bats to begin with. This supposed to be a sharpshooter, right? Let's shoot you in the head. Let's headshot a rat roach. Ooh, I can take so many shots. Two shots to the head. Two shots to the head. Ooh, that's a low chance to hit. Let's shoot it in the body. Yeah. Two shots in the body. Boom! One shot, one kill. One shot, one miss. This thing's really inaccurate. Ooh, this thing makes some big holes. Look at that. This gun, gun has a pretty nice feel to it. I like the sound design of it. It feels pretty weighty. At least so far. It's always been one of my big problems with the Fallout franchise is that the combat has felt really bad. Just weak and lifeless and, you know, the sort of turn-based VATS system. I mean, it's not really turn-based, but, you know, trying to get some of the turn-basedness through the VATS system has never been very good compared to, uh, you know, the full turn-based combat of Fallout 1 and 2. And the real-time combat was also never very good in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. 
So it's kind of like not a very good kind of turn-based system and also not a very good real-time sort of system. So I'm hoping it's better this time. Oh, we could sneak. Avoid bright light, use melee attacks, move slowly, using caps locked, remain undetected. Okay, so I do bonus damage. Before melee attacks while wielding a gun, press left alt. Oh. Oh, I guess I could do that. I'd rather just shoot him in the ass, though. Am I the only one left? This game looks so much better than the other Fallout. So much better. Am I the only one left? Oh, Pip Boy! Finally. Good old friend. Did that say 64 kilobytes of RAM? That's not a lot of RAM. Well, this is an Inconvenient interface. But the Pip Boy has always been kind of like that. Let me take a look around here. I'll be right back. Well, I've gotten a little bit familiar with the Pip Boy. Yeah, Pip Boy's always been just a super cramped and awkward way to go through menus and sub menus and sub menus of sub menus. Inventory, and then with that, within that, there's all the sub menus, and you can only see some of them at one time. And then there's the sub selection menu within the sub menu, and then you click on that, and then that has its own thing. And then there's a list of like a million controls at the bottom. It's ugh, it's a mess, complete mess. But whatever, I'll get used to it. And I also put on some glasses because they look really cool. I really like how my character looks already. Yeah, can't wait to change out of these vault overalls, though. A vault jumpsuit. was really epic. That was really cool. <sighs> What's gonna be on the surface? What year is it? How long have I been under? Let's go find out. Oh, this is like when you leave the sewers in Oblivion. Ask if you want to change some stuff. No? I think I'm good. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech.
was our perfect, idyllic little neighborhood. One of those is our house, that one or that one. This game is really good looking. This is really, it's really, really good looking. I'm just so shocked how much better it looks than Fallout 3. It's such a massive change. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go back and see what's left of our home. <laughs>